Hi everyone, um, happy 2018, happy new year. Uh, probably like a lot of you, I did not expect to still be here to see 2018 on the um, Gregorian calendar. Um, of course, there are other calendars where it's still 2017, and um, the Lord had told me to not expect to be here next year, but um, he, he just wants us to expect to leave um, any time now. So anyway, um, yeah, I definitely did not expect to still be here. Um, I know when I first um, started waiting on the Lord in 2013, um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have not expected to still be here in 2018. So, um, but anyway, um, the Lord, he is... Um, he is doing something. Um, we don't quite understand what he's doing with his timing, um, but the Lord's timing is perfect. He will come at the perfect time, so um, rejoice in that. And uh, just, I just wanted to share some things that the Lord has been emphasizing to me. Um, call them New Year's resolutions, if you will, or just things to uh, focus on. Um, but the first thing is um, the Lord has been pointing out to me is just to um, set aside all distractions that are distracting um, distracting you from focusing on the Lord. Um, that is what he's uh, one thing he's been pointing out to me. Like if something is um, taking away from your focus on the Lord, just um, get rid of it and um, turn to Him. So if um, Focusing on dates is focusing on dates and rapture on the rapture is uh, taking your focus away from the Lord and from growing in Him. Then, um, then don't focus on that. Focus on the Lord. Although, of course, um, He may still give you um, flirts, if you will, pointing to His soon coming. But um, still, just uh, focusing on the Lord and. Um, yeah, so if anything um, is taking away from your focus on the Lord, then get rid of that or uh, stop doing it as much. Just do as the Lord leads, of course. Um, but anyway, um, and then tonight, um, the Lord was really pointing out to me because I was um, sitting here wondering, I was like, I don't want to be sad and depressed every single time a date set comes and comes and goes and uh, just waking up here thinking why am I still here I um, I don't want to be here and um, just having that mindset I I mean I don't think the Lord wants a depressed bride when he comes to get her so um, I was just sitting there thinking like I didn't outright ask the Lord but in my mind I was dwelling on like how do I get joy from this life um, which of course joy is independent of circumstances I know that but um, I was just dwelling that on that in my mind last night and the Lord was just uh, really bringing to my mind on um, focusing on spiritual blessings um, I mean, you can also focus on material, worldly blessings, but those can come and go. But focusing on spiritual blessings, those are to stay. I mean, if you are born again and saved, you have many spiritual blessings. And you just really had me focusing on that. Um, I mean, the Lord loves us. If you just, um, if you have accepted his salvation, his death, uh, dying on the cross from your for your sins, then you have his tremendous love. You have his, and if you are walking in the Lord's will, you have his favor. You have his love. You have his salvation. Um, so instead of just waking up here every day thinking I hate my life, um, when is the rapture and um, when are my circumstances going to change? Just uh, waking up here thinking, okay, how can I enjoy my spiritual blessings um, 
let me just focus on my blessings. Don't even focus on your circumstances or what your life is like, because those uh, circumstances can change, and they often do. So um, just focusing on your blessings. Um, first of all, you are, you are saved. Um, if, if you are saved, and then you are... Um, you are born again. You are made. You are being made new, a new creation, and the Holy Spirit has come to live inside of you. And you have God literally living inside of you, guiding your life. That is a huge, huge spiritual blessing. Um, you have uh, the opportunity to fellowship with the Lord, and um, having Him guide you and fellowshipping with you. Um, at all times during the day and night and just uh, you have him uh, surrounding you looking out for you um, he will never leave us nor forsake us you have um, you have that spiritual blessing um, he will um, and yeah the, these spiritual blessings aren't um, these are spiritual blessings you can enjoy now uh, you don't have to wait till you get to heaven to enjoy them. You can enjoy them now. The Lord is guiding you. He loves you. Um, the, um, you can rejoice in the fact that your circumstances, although they may or may not be favorable, um, the, if you are walking in the uh, Lord's will, then um, your circumstances are the Lord's will for your life at the moment so you can rejoice in that because his will is perfect so therefore your circumstances um, are in God's perfect love for you so you can rejoice in that and um, just rejoicing um, that you get to be you are different from the world um, you get to be God's light to the world um, you get to be different you get to sh uh, you get to shine God's love on the world, and you get to live for Him. You get that freedom to live for Him. You don't have to work to try to earn His approval. Uh, his approval was granted to you uh, when you accepted His uh, salvation of His death on the cross um, for your sins. So you get to just uh, live to please Him. You get to... Um, you get to fellowship with him. You get the satisfaction of knowing that he is in your circumstances and he they are in his perfect will. So you can rejoice always, as the Bible says, um, in everything. Um, rejoice, give thanks. And so uh, just focusing, uh, he was really just emphasizing focusing on your circumstances, or not circumstances, not focusing on your circumstances, but focusing on the spiritual blessings um, that he has given to all believers and um, just uh, embracing his love and and in order to embrace his love I he got me thinking on this too um, you have to appreciate the value of his love um, just really uh, even even the gift of salvation, you have to, in order to receive that gift, you have to appreciate the value of being saved. I mean, there are people out there, they don't care if they are saved or not um, for various reasons. They just don't care. But in order to receive the gift of salvation, you have to appreciate that gift. You have to come to that humble spot where you are just you recognize your sin and your need for a savior so applying this to um, God's love um, just uh, recognizing the value of God's love and all the ways that he is loving you right now not just um, when you get to heaven but right now and so recognizing the value in that is um, what he was showing me is also how you can receive his love in greater measure so I was just uh, really just uh, I just want to get this new year started just focusing on the Lord and growing deeper in him um, expanding my relationship with him and growing deeper and applying biblical truths to my life not just reading the Bible but applying that 
applying it to my life because you can read the Bible all you want, but if you don't apply it, then it really just doesn't do you any good. So just um, exercising my faith and thinking about um, what is true and what is noble and what is right and um, as it says in the Bible and being learning to be content no matter what the circumstance and so um, just thinking on God's love appreciating it and learning to recognize it and that takes faith too it takes faith um, to see that God's uh, the circumstances you're in are God's perfect will um, they may not seem so perfect to you, but recognizing that they are God's perfect will for your life and realizing that, having the faith to realize that um, can do tremendous value in releasing you from being burdened from your circumstances. So anyway, um, the Lord just had me thinking about all these things overnight and, and um, and I was working a midnight shift, so it's a fairly quiet shift, and I often get very profound thoughts on my midnight shifts. So um, I was just uh, thinking of all these things, how I can um, be joyful in the Lord, because I don't, I don't want to be all sad when the Lord comes to get me. I want to be joyful and not just moping around, thinking, "Oh, I'm still here. I am so bored with my life." Uh, just really just being joyful in him and walking in um, walking in joy and walking in his peace and his love and um, just getting deeper in him and I was just um, thinking about how I can do that and then these thoughts started coming to my mind so I know they had to be of the Lord because um, obviously um, it agrees with scripture and it's um, just focusing on the spiritual blessings so um, anyway um, I just want to encourage you all hopefully this does encourage um, you all to just um, not focus on your circumstances or the fact that we're still here but to focus on spiritual blessings because we um, if you are saved you are spiritually blessed and no one can take that away from you so focus on your spiritual blessings which there are many I probably forgot some in this video as I was listing them but um, anyway just focusing on spiritual blessings focusing and appreciating God's love for you learning to recognize it in different forms having the faith to re um, to recognize that love and then applying it to your life and so and casting off any distractions that are distracting you from um, growing closer to the Lord so anyway um, I love you all Jesus is coming very very soon so um, I will see you very very soon in the air love you all bye